Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Henricks. Well, good morning. It's a cooler start to the day today. Temperatures everywhere are down compared to yesterday morning. Chilly enough that you'll probably want to grab a jacket as you head out the door. We are currently seeing temperatures across the area in most locations in the 40s. We're talking low to mid 40s out there this morning. So again, it is a cooler start. Winds right now are pretty light, but still any wind at all is going to add to that cool feel. So as we look at winds, at around 05 to 10 miles per hour for most of our area there is a cool feel as you step out the door but it's clear all of the rain from yesterday is well off to the east of us and we find ourselves with clearer skies as we begin the day and that's due in part to again those cool temperatures because the skies have cleared but where we see some of that clearing there also could be some patchy areas of fog this morning so just use caution as you approach those waterways and fields and things where water has sat through the overnight Evaporational cooling is taking place from the warmer water and the warmer earth surface and that cooler air sitting above it. As you head out the door this morning, though, you may want to grab the sunglasses, too, because we're going to see a lot of sunshine through the course of the day. Temperatures will remain cooler than average, though. But, um, some folks may hit 60 today, but most of us will probably stay in the upper 50s. We'll stay dry not only through the day, but into the night tonight. Pretty chilly tomorrow morning. I think we'll see some upper 30s to start our Thursday. Clouds start to increase a little bit later Thursday. Friday, definitely going to start to see some increasing cloud cover. And we're going to increase our chances of rain by later in the day on Friday. Now, once again, the story now becomes warmer air. It starts to advance our way and for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all through next week, we're talking about warmer temperatures. Even as we cool slightly on Tuesday next week, we're going from 80s to 70s. So that's still above average for this time of the year. That's going to be the way we start the month of May across much of the country. As you can see, we're about to experience a real change in temperatures that's going to take us back to, again, a warmer feel for the Wabash Valley. For today, temperature-wise, a cooler feel. We should be in the mid-60s, and we may struggle to hit 60 this afternoon, but we'll see a lot of beautiful sunshine out there throughout the entire day. Tonight, a little chilly. Tomorrow morning, I think we'll dip down into the mid to upper 30s. Some of our northern areas could actually see a little bit of that patchy frost to start the day. As for the rest of the week, it's all all uphill with temperatures as you can see but more rain chances back on Friday scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday and some isolated chances Sunday I think we start next week a little active Monday with the chance for some rain as well so kind of an unsettled pattern Friday through Monday no day a washout but all of those days we could see a little bit of rain David